Hi everyone, good morning, how are y'all doing today? So, uh, this is my little room. I've been, uh, so I've been doing like a lot of admin work and I just want to show y'all like also, uh, I've been doing a lot of like boxing and box, bo I've also been like boxing up a lot of like uh, orders, so I've been really busy, so I haven't been able to film like every day as I usually can, um, but also appreciate y'all uh, with ordering a lot for me, thank you. I'm going to show y'all what I've uh, been doing. So this is my little setup over here where I do my filming and I think this is where I'm going to do like more like, uh, so I can show y'all more like close-ups of how I'm doing things and my begonias. Um, these are actually like going to be like little giveaways I'm working on. But I'm going to show y'all also like all the little begonias I'm working on. How amazing is that? Like, ah. Uh... It looks so good. Oh, and look at my little sad amphioxus, y'all. I messed up. I touched it. I touched the leaves. But he's growing. There's a little... I don't even want to open this. I'll just, like, <laughs> just stay in this box <laughs> and just stay away from me. But look at this. So as y'all see, like, I'm propagating this in vermiculite. And you can see all the little babies. I'll use my other camera and it's better uh, with doing close-ups and stuff like this, but... Peace! Alright, hi everyone! How are y'all doing? So I was at my local, uh, plant, another local plant shop picking up some, uh, like, outdoor plants for the store. So now I'm working with, like, another local plant shop to bring you some, uh, really good, uh, high-quality outdoor plants. So, I'm gonna show y'all what I what I picked up. So here is a purple shield. Here is a salvia. There is those little blooms. Um, I've been growing these hot peppers for a while. Um, there's these really nice caladiums. Uh, everybody really likes caladiums, so I'm getting caladiums. Um, next, more caladiums. Caladiums there, as you see. I just really like them. I really like this one. Um, here are my propagations of uh, begonias. I also picked up a rose bush. People have been wanting some ro a rose bush, so I've, I picked up one to see how it is and how people would like it over here. Um, let's see. I also picked up this Mojave Purple. Um, there's an Impatience back there. I really like it. So yeah, some good stuff that I picked. Some there's some good stuff that I picked up. Um, and then here is like some other uh, some house plants and other stuff that I've been uh, I have on site. Some Crown of Thorns. Uh, here's the Birkin propagation that I I have. Um, I've been growing some cactus. What do y'all think? I also have been growing some pothos outside. Just a bunch of random propagations that I leave on there. These are the these are the the, the ones I give out for free whenever somebody picks up a, a plant locally. As you see, my shop is partnered with Square, and I accept all these payments. So just in case. Here is a uh, olive tree. Here is um, an elephant ear. Some shrubs that I, I picked up for the shop as well. These make these really nice, uh, really pretty uh, pink, uh, not pink, uh, red berries. And then these create this really pretty um, white flower. My big old hosta ready to just bloom. These are the, um, the pansies that I picked up from my roommate because he likes these. You get a lot of compliments on their uh, they're flowers. They're really pretty. I have a castor iron plant, the speckled one. 
Here's an oxalis. Here are some of my veggies that I need to also pot up. So you can see some of the beans growing already. So these definitely need to start trailing. My poor little strawberry, how sad. A little sad begonia basket I need to fix up. Um, here is another basket that I just went crazy with. It looks fun. <laughs> and then of course, um, a nice little begonia basket. My little begonia baby. Oh, hi begonia babies. Yes, you're a good begonia baby. Look at her. She's so pretty. Give me that face. Oh, that face. That's a cute face. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you did it, yes. Right. Look how crazy big my Alocasia Regal Shields has gotten. Oh, and if you have, um, okay, so if you have, like, one of these, and you see this happen, just pull it off. Just, like that. It's, and then there you go. So, it's really pretty. I'm going to put it in a vase until it dies. <laughs> just so pretty. And then, see what I do. Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing today? I um, hope you're all doing great. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I hope you all are super motivated today and have a wonderful day. Um, I am just, so I'm just here uh, taking new pictures. As you see, I wanted to show y'all. I got some... Uh, new plants for this side. I'm trying to get some more outdoor plants um, for the for the website. And I have like a couple or, couple shipments that I from my from from the greenhouse also. So I'll be sharing you um, some of that as well um, when it arrives. It should be arriving today or tomorrow. So I'll be showing you all that. Um, I do. I am now doing like little like landscaping jobs, just like small little little like. Uh, landscaping job I can get some like fruit trees and um, all sorts of different plants now because I work with a uh, another local plant shop that's uh, near us I feel y'all y'all have seen me do the tour I'll put the little link up on the just up on the on the screen for y'all um, so y'all can see the tour it's uh, Jackson's Home and Garden they have some amazing amazing high quality plants and their staff is always great and they're wonderful there was helpful um they're just it's it's so it i feel really comfortable there and i feel really comfortable bringing those plants introducing that to um our customers i know there's a lot of like plant shops and there's a lot of like uh ones that people trust and are really great um but there's also a lot of like really new ones and some that have been around that of that people just don't know and i really want to share those with everybody so uh, that's why I, 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 that's why I, I do the plant tours and then I also bring on their, their products onto our, our site. Here's some of the caladiums, some impatience, New Guinea impatience. This one, uh, is the rosemary that, from our greenhouse. <laughs> but as you see, we have Blue Label Farms now, so that's, that's awesome. You know, they're, they're good and they're, they're great. I really like this one. Getting some some pollinator friendly plants, and then um, I really like this. I saw this in like a, a basket, and I think next I wanted to get baskets of these. Of course, I have my house plants and my propagations that I do for my house plants. So and there's more, as you see. There's little empty spaces, so we need to fill those spaces up. I'm gonna share with you all. Like, I have this Hoya, our Hoya. Uh, Crimson Queen and she is beautiful and grows amazing um, and then our philodendrons and then um, 
acacia, there's a fern over there. This one's really like awesome, really, really pretty. Um, it's a Chinese evergreen, uh, lazy pink. Look at this philodendron, like, oh my god, that's so cool. All right. Oh, and I also um, picked up this Texas rock rose. I want to show you all this, uh, this Texas rock rose that I picked up yesterday for one of my uh, new clients. She's going to love it. She's so sweet. Right, baby, you're so sweet. Yes. Hi everyone, good morning. So today I'm doing my plant, sh my plant sale. Um, I'm gonna show you how I set it up and um, y'all are gonna see um, how I set up my little plant sale and just around my little uh, home base plant shop. I thank you all for your support. Um, I'm having lots of fun with this and meeting a lot of new people and um, really like you all are so amazing. So thank you so much. All right. I'm show y'all. Okay, so I have my little like greenhouse. Look at my new stickers. Y'all are gonna get new stickers too. So everybody knows that I accept uh, payments like this. Um, but yeah, this is my little greenhouse. I had a bigger one, but it blew away because of Texas. You know, Texas is crazy. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all around what I have. I propagate these as I've been showing y'all, and I make bigger baskets of them for people. Then I have some trees and um, some elephant ears. This is my little like fairy angel begonia garden. <laughs> I just kind of stick these in here like I said and they'll grow. That's what you do. Here's some cactus. Caster iron plant. Ooh, my tomatillo plant. It's growing so big, oh my god. <laughs> and then um, I have this. It's called a fire dragon. You know, grow really large. It's pretty hardy. got a little tattered because of the winds but it's a super hardy plant here is my big old hosta it's just about to ready to bloom, as you see here. My little basket. My little babies. My big wicker basket. So I have my little setup out here. Um, it's pretty shady over here, so these plants don't mind it being in this in this kind of sun. Hoyas actually like to be um, outside, so if they're kind of like in a in a shady shadier spot, they don't mind it. Do have to move this. It's gonna it's a little too bright for this one, so we'll probably move you down. And as you see, like this is a little bit more shadier. And it's. Uh, Good. And I have my little uh, Chinese evergreen, the lady pink over here. And then I have a ficus ruby pink. And I have some outdoor plants over here that I'm gonna uh, that I set aside for uh, a lady that I'm going to do a little landscaping um, job for. So I'm really excited for that. Um, let's see, here's my big old olive tree. 
needs to be repotted, probably. I don't know what this is. But it's nice, and I like how it just drapes down. As you see, like, I like this kind of, like, design aspect of, like, wood and, uh, green plants and, like, just natural, uh, elements around in stone to kind of, like, highlight the, the area, give it some nice little detail. And then, of course, my little, <laughs> my painting. I think that that's, like, my first little painting that I did. <laughs> it's just been out here. It looks good, though. Um, I propagated these strawberries. Here are some more strawberries. They got a little damaged because of the the weather, but so I had to pop off some of them. And here are some that are growing now. My big tomatillo plant. It's so huge! Oh my god. <laughs> um. I really like this uh, cast cast iron plant. I think it's called Milky Way for the speckling. And it has a fun little uh, pecan tree in there. So I'm probably going to have to really, uh, take that out and pop it in its own little container. Here is my big hosta. It's almost ready to bloom. Oops, I think I just moved a, a bee that was looking at it. Oh well. Um, another little garden design that I have out here. Some plants. All the propagated uh, begonias. Some more propagations that I have out here. Uh, outdoor plants. Some crown of thorns. So, um, this is an agave uh, quaddy color, I believe. Some peppers. And then I have a little salvia over here. And then Marley. Marley, say hi. Say hi. Come back. Where'd you go? Hi. Here's another garden design that I've made um, using uh, this wicker basket. Look at these cactus. So um, if y'all watch my video, I think it was in maybe one of my vlogs, I, w I got these from one of our local plant shops, uh, Oasis, Oasis Plant Shop. And I planted these, so I'm super excited to see their little growth. I might plant these at my at the the landscaping job that I'm, that the lady uh, wants me to do. So if she wants me to bring these there, I'll definitely do that, and I'll share that experience with y'all as well if um, if I can. And then I just really like this. It's a red dragon. Let's see. It's called a fire dragon. I need to look at it more. But yeah. Okay, so I'm doing like some late night uh, vlogging uh, because I have to do a little bit of repotting. Um, I went to Scarborough Fair earlier, so uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, didn't get to do so, I, and I also got to film some things. I'll be sharing some of that with y'all. Um, there was a lot of people, so I got um, like shots where there was just like like little nice sceneries and um, places where there was like no people at all. But yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, I'll show you some uh, of the begonias that I've been propagating and their roots are really crazy and long. So I'm gonna show you that. Like begonia updates, 
Um, and then I'm making a video um, for the store on how to um, use a moss pole and how you can how you can use a moss pole and then um, featuring one of our one of our plants, uh, the Raptorophora tetrasperma. So I'm gonna talk about this one of my favorite plants and then so I have this uh, plant and I'm gonna show you in one of my videos coming up on how to train your your plant using a pole. Okay, so I have my begonia propagations over here, and I'm going to show you which ones are ready. This is a begonia linda dawn. And as you see there, the roots are pretty uh, ready for potting. Here are those, here is uh, this other one as well.
there you have it. There's my two uh, begonia propagations that I needed to do. Um, but yeah. I'll have more to share with y'all um, soon. I'm gonna be doing like begonia updates um, and just a lot more fun uh, stuff that I have uh, lined up for us. Till tomorrow. So um, it's been raining a lot, but like I want to show y'all, I, like I, I just collected a lot of water for uh, for the store, so I can like water all the plants and stuff. Um, but it looks really nice inside, so I want to show y'all. Um, so come with me. It is recording. <laughs> looks really nice it's still really it's still raining and all but like i wanted to show y'all how nice that looked <laughs> and then all the water collected i hope y'all collected your water